Welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for October 2023. The current water level at our nation's largest reservoir is 1,065 feet 8 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 1 foot 1 inch since our last Lake Mead update. The current water elevation is 116 feet above minimum power pool and 153 feet below full pool. In today's episode, we'll start out with a brief Lake Mead statistics update. Next up, we'll make fun of the latest water level predictions released by the Bureau of Reclamation. Then, I discuss El Nino and how it's going to solve all of the Southwest's water-related issues. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. As we have discussed many times, last winter snowstorms and the spring runoff have done a great job of filling Lake Mead this year. However, despite all the gains, the current water elevation is still 88 feet below the 1,154-foot average for this date. Now, when I talk about average water levels, we're talking about the average water level since the reservoir was first filled in July of 1941. This is not the all-time average water level, which skews lower due to the fact that it took six years after the completion of Hoover Dam for the reservoir to fill. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet. The record low elevation was set last year on July 28th when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this date, the date I'm recording the video, is 18,222,000 acre feet. The current capacity of Lake Mead Reservoir is 8,858,000 acre feet, which is 48.6% of the average water level for this date. The record low water level was set in July of last year when the capacity dropped to just 7,018,000 acre feet. Even after a terrific water year, the Lake Mead Reservoir is only 33.9% of full pool capacity. Now let's take a look at a chart of Lake Mead's water level so far this year. The low water level for this year was set on January 1st, with an elevation of just under 1,045 feet. The water level has been on a pretty steady increase all year long until it peaked on September 17th with a water elevation of 1,066 and a half feet. The current water level of 1,065 feet represents a 20-foot increase in water level so far this year. October 1st marked the beginning of the 2024 water year. Happy New Year, everybody! The 2023 water year was terrific for Lake Mead's water levels. Now that we are starting a new water year, I think this might be a good time to take a look at the water level forecasts provided by our friends over at the Bureau of Reclamation. According to the October 2023 24-month study report, Lake Mead's water level should decline slightly from its current elevation over the next few weeks. Then, as the winter season unfolds and the spring runoff fills the reservoir, the water level is forecasted to increase to 1,071 feet. Then, Lake Mead is forecasted to decline to a low point of 1,054 feet at the end of September 2024. Now, to me, that's a pretty scary prediction. The Bureau of Reclamation is forecasting Lake Mead's water level to drop 10 feet in the next year. If these forecasted water levels hold true, then half of the water gains from the 2023 water year will be wiped out by this time next year. But wait, there is hope. As I have pointed out in several other videos, the Bureau of Reclamation is not that great with water level predictions. Sure, they can accurately predict water levels for the next two or three months, but beyond that, Reclamation's water level forecasts tend to not be very accurate at all. So while the Bureau of Reclamation is predicting a decline in water levels next year, everyone else is predicting the exact opposite. 
Just take a look at any news outlet and you will see the same story talking about El Nino. Each article says the exact same thing. We have entered a period of El Nino. That means a wet winter for the Southwest United States. Now that does make for a great headline. I really hope it's true. But let's dig a little deeper into El Nino years to see exactly what we're dealing with here. During periods of El Nino, the U.S. usually experiences drier than usual conditions in the north and wetter conditions in the south including the typically dry areas across the Southwest. Since the year 2000, El Nino events have been observed in the winter of 2002 to 2003, the winter of 2004 to 5, the winter of 06 to 7, the winter of 2009 to 10, the two year stretch of 2014 to 16, and the winter of 2018 to 19. The El Nino that lasted from 2014 to 2016 is considered one of the strongest on record. Now that's six periods of El Nino since January of 2000. And now we just entered a seventh period of El Nino. Let's see how these periods of El Nino impacted water levels at Lake Mead. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water level elevation by month since January 2000. I'll start by pointing out periods of dramatic water level increases at Lake Mead. During the seven month stretch from September 2004 through March of 2005, Lake Mead's water elevation increased by 22 feet. From November 2010 through January of 2012, the lake gained 53 feet in elevation. In fact, 2011 was the best year for Lake Mead in the past 20 years by far. The period from July 2016 to February 2017 added 19 feet in elevation to Lake Mead. And last winter increased the water level by 22 feet. Now I'll highlight the periods of El Nino. The first period of El Nino from June 2002 through February of 2003, Lake Mead actually lost six feet in elevation. The El Nino from October 2014 through April of 2016 is listed as one of the strongest on record. However, Lake Mead lost six feet during this 19 month stretch. Now I'm going to overlay both charts to see if the periods of El Nino match up to surges in Lake Mead's water elevation. Okay, so this is interesting. The only time Lake Mead's water elevation surged during a time of El Nino is the winter of 04 and 05. Every other surge or prolonged period of water level increases at Lake Mead were in times the Southwest were not in El Nino. During periods of El Nino, sometimes the lake level increased and other times it decreased. The truth is there's just too many factors that impact Lake Mead's water elevation to rely on just one single set of indicators like El Nino or even the Bureau of Reclamation's forecasts. Yes, El Nino makes for terrific headlines, but as an indicator of how our reservoirs will perform, El Nino is a bust. Well, that's all for this episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll be back with another episode next week. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really value your support.